Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dead Cells. Before we jump into a run, I've been told, go to sound, alternate tracks. We can go to 8-bit. I don't think there's any music. Oh. No, it's there. It does seem like it was the exact same track we just had, but in a little bit more of a beep boop sound effect. And then Castlevania soundtrack for the the Castlevania DLC. Check this out. Well, I'm willing to give it a try anyways. Let me just crank that down a little bit because I don't want it to be a little bit too loud. Um, we'll play a run of Dead Cells here with the Castlevania soundtrack, see how that's like, or see what that's like. And uh, let's do another, a normal run here. I don't think it's the original Castlevania soundtrack, but I believe it is like remastered soundtracks that are uh, Dead Cells and Castlevania kind of themed. But maybe it is semi-original Castlevania soundtracks. I don't know, I've never actually played Castlevania. I imagine this, you know, this kind of has a, if I could picture a Castlevania soundtrack, this is kind of what comes to mind though. Spooky. I can crank on that a little bit. There we go. Uh, we're just gonna do a normal run here though. And we'll uh, do whatever the mirror says to do. It says go fight Dracula. All right, we're gonna fight Dracula on this run. I've had some pretty good Dracula runs recently, I feel. Yo, Qua- oh, <laughs> I like a lot of stuff from this. I like the, uh, the throwing money shooter. We had a lot of fun with that last time. I also like quad damage knives. I like the broadsword for heavy attacks there. But I think I'm a, I think I'm a knife main today. Now, the negative, of course, is that you basically have to never get hit. But quad damage, damage knives should be pretty good. I assume that this does quadruple the damage of the bleed as well. I mean, that seems like it did a ton of damage. I'm, I'm actually surprised at how this isn't actually killing everything in like one hit. It's killing everything very quickly, admittedly. So let's uh, let's give it a go here. I like it, you know. I've never played Dead Cells with a a, a different track. <laughs> this will be my first time doing it. What are my objectives for the day? I ha I actually have objectives for the day. My objectives for the day are to do whatever the uh, the mirror says. In which case, we need to go and. I don't know if it's flawless Dracula or just defeat him again, but we're gonna go fight Dracula and get his blueprint. My other objectives for the today. I don't know, it kinda has like an Arabian Nights feel to it. Um, my other objectives for the day. I would love to get a flawless on some bosses. Practice boss fights. And uh, definitely, like, if I could flawless Dracula fight, I would be uh, in love with life. So I'm going to, I'm going to try my best to make that happen. Because if we can start flawlessing boss fights, and especially flawlessing the Dracula boss fight, I mean, we need to do it in order to get all of our, um, not blueprints. Well, no, it is blueprints. It's uh, gold blueprints for all the bosses, right? So we're gonna have to work on it at some point. So that's kind of my goal. I wanna try to build a run that can flawless Dracula. Now we've had good Dracula runs in the past. I'm trying to think of what the best one was and I think it was probably uh, Brutality Hakuto's Bow. Really, we could just get like any Hakuto's Bow but it's gotta be like colorless or um, legendary to work with this character right now. Well, my current run right now because I am kind of rolling brutality, aren't I? But Hokuto's bow is really nice for that passive damage. Um, I would love to find something like a uh, just heavy hitting 
brutality weapon, like Star Fury would work pretty well. Phase one of Dracula, I, I really do believe is all about the range. Phase two of Dracula, I think you need melee. So I don't know, um, I don't know what weapons would work ideally, but dun dun dun. dun. You know, I'll be I'll be on the lookout for sure. Light speed. I kind of just hate light speed. I'm gonna crank it down like one, one hit. I think. Okay, a little close. Um, but yeah, like. I don't know what the weapon loadout would be the best for Dracula. I, I don't think you want shields. I think shields are a little bit too slow on the fight. Although maybe a parry shield would work pretty well. I think you just need like a ranged weapon, ideally for the uh, the first phase. And again, you know, I had such a good run with Hokuto's bow because we had like a, a colorless Hokuto's bow that did so much freaking damage that we weren't really at risk as long as we had, you know, just a little bit of time to, uh... uh to dodge Dracula's attacks and then just let the Hukuto's bow just poison him on its own because we had, like, poison damage on the bow as well. Just poisoned him and then just slowly killed him to death. To death, you say. To shreds, you say. So that is, uh... That's kind of what I'm looking for today. Hold on, was that a thing? No. I really miss having that amulet that showed me all of the secrets. Ugh. I gotta say, these knives, they are doing a freaking load of damage. It's fantastic. Dun, 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 dun. Armnock says, do you know about the boss rush outfits? I know that if you flawless boss rush modes, you get outfits, so eventually I'm gonna have to flawless the fourth door in Boss Rush, which I am not looking forward to at all, but it could be kind of fun. Um, Man, we have not fought the Watcher in a long time. We could go Watcher, Slumbering Sepulchre Clock Room. I'm, I'm, I, it's a bit of a toss up for me. I, I like the Watcher fight. You get the most scroll fragments out of it. Uh, but the nest is just an easier boss. The, the Mama Tick. Mama Tick is such an easy boss to flawless. You just have to basically dodge twice <laughs> and then you're fine. There's two attacks that you have to dodge and it is the, uh, the, uh, phase transition attacks. But Insufferable Crypt on the Watcher, it's such a long fight, kind of annoying letting the uh, the malaise build up so long in that fight. I haven't done it in a long time, so I'm probably going to take some damage, but, you know... Go, dilapidated Arboretum Prison Depths, Morass of the Banished Nest. I think I'm going to go Sewers on this one. We haven't gone to the Sewers in a long time. Hold on. Oh, I'm right there. So yeah, let, let's try sewers, although I am very tempted to go to the, uh, the morass. I really do think that the easiest boss in the whole game is probably Mama Tick. I like the music, man. <laughs> I'm so used to the original Dead Cells music that this does seem a little bit out of place, but it's not bad or anything. Okay. Giant killer. I think we're okay grabbing this for the time being. And now I am kind of thinking, okay, maybe we should go fight Mama Tick, because Giant Killer is really good on Mama Tick. Vigilante Dracula outfit. Oh, by the way, get unlocked, son. We should check out some of these other costumes, too. I've been rolling, you know, chicken head for a long time here. Um... I think we're good to go, actually. For this floor, I'm going no mercy, even over disengagement. You want to know why? Oh. No, I kind of want to go to the sewers. Although I will say, the bank... 
I really do think that the bank is the perfect biome to take a wish. Because you know that you're gonna get two shops. And because you you know you're gonna get two shops, you can basically get whatever you want legendary. Well, within reason, of course. You have to actually get the item to show up, but... Dude, one throwing knife is enough to kill basically any enemy. That's pretty freaking good. Now, if I get hit, I'm probably gonna die. And the reason I didn't take disengagement, by the, by the way, is that I don't know if it actually works with quad damage. I think if I get hit, I'm still just going to die, so... And the only negative right now with the, um... The only negative right now with the, uh... Elite Festering Zombie! The only right, uh, negative right now with the, uh, the throwing knives... Well, yes, if I get hit, I die, but also, if I, um... I don't have piercing with them. That's the negative, the big negative. Uh, two levels of tactics, no thank you. Honey says, you should play Hotline Miami one of these days. I added it to my cart in Steam. <laughs> so, in theory, at some point I can pick it up. Dude, I, I know I turn, I keep like fiddling with the volume, but like, the, the music is a little bit quieter than it normally is on these levels, I think. So I gotta keep cranking on the, the sound settings to, a, to an extent, but hopefully it's not too loud because I am, you know, like, running around killing enemies and all that. Yo, boy. Freaking yeeted that guy across the screen. I'm sure that this would have a much larger, like, nostalgia factor if I actually played any Castlevania in my life. Goodbye. I mean, the bleed should just kill you. I have to remember also with, um, bleed, it's like if you stack up five stacks, it does all the damage instantaneously or something, right? Strange soundtrack. <laughs> Are you gonna sacrifice Mushroom Boy to Mama Tick? I've already gotten that uh, that achievement slash outfit. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, but collector syringe. You know, can we get co uh, collector syringe to kill the Watcher quickly? Maybe. I mean, it's better than Scarecrow Sickles, so let's just get rid of that and then move on. I mean, I don't like Sca Scarecrow Sickles, so we might as well replace it with something that we're actually going to use, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you would just die if I didn't hit you again. Excuse me. In order to get the outfit for... He's dead. Or he's not moving. In order to get the outfit in... Boss Rush, you have to flawless in 5 BC for the final door. Hmm. I mean, I know it's gonna be hard, but I'm pretty sure we can do it at some point. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Those, those enhanced bosses in Boss Rush are just so, like... Garbage. <laughs> They're so hard compared to anything else. I wonder what the, uh, you know, I, I did look up a little bit of the legendary equipment uh, yesterday after my last stream. So I, I believe. I do like Lacerating Aura. Goodbye, Mushroom Boy. I do believe that throwing daggers get like a super pier No, they get... Uh, enemy, enemy, enemies that die while bleeding spread the bleed to other enemies. That's what it is. 
I find myself really considering uh, lately different legendary gear because of the existence of Wish, which I think is going to be an incredibly powerful <laughs> um, mutation in Dead Cells. Being able to pick, not guaranteed, but being able to almost pick specific gear for your run is going to be very strong. I mean, we did it on a recent run where I picked like a legendary... What was it? Legendary Ice Armor? That would be fantastic. You know, you could roll a Cursed Sword run as just like a normal thing on your run. Like, it, it doesn't even have to be anything special. You can just have Cursed Sword. You give yourself a Legendary Ice Armor, you can actually tank one hit if you make a mistake once. So many possibilities! ELQ Welcome says, time zone change means I get one more hour of aim time. Except for yesterday, where I went to the store. Okay. I don't know if quad damage affects poison. Hopefully not. Where are we going? We still have a lot to explore, I think. Yeah, we got a lot to do down here, so let's go. And he says, same until the end of March. You people not resetting your clocks. I hate resetting my clocks. Um, I'll just put that in my backpack for now. I, I've, I handled this slightly incorrectly. I'm going to teleport away. <laughs> He's not going to burn to death, but also he's not going to chase me down. I don't know. The music's all right. Again, I th Ah! Nah, I don't think it's quad. Actually, I, th I was taking four damage per tick. Um... Ooh. I'd probably have more of a uh, nostalgia factor for the music if I actually had played any Castlevania. I know I said that before, but I'm repeating it because I think it's worth repeating. Because I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever, it's music. Just looking, looking for like special runes. I haven't seen any yet. Man, I don't find that. Um, what is a star? I don't find that amulet that often, the one that gives you the ability to see runes. I, I understand why, because it's so good. And I know that I can definitely, um, you know, change an in-game accessibility option to make the uh, secrets a little bit more visible, but I don't want to... I want to work for it, but I also want the game to give me the amulet uh, every time. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe I don't know what I want. I want all the power the game can give me, but I want it to, you know, be fair about it. I mean, like, pretty much one shot kills, one dagger kills anything that's not an elite. Speaking of, there's an elite. Um, two of them isn't really not that big of a deal. Oh my god. Maybe it's a little bit of, bit of a deal. One got one HP. <laughs> okay. You know, I, I was curious as to whether or not disengagement would work. Would work. One shot protection still works. Good to know. Um, let's go like pull our insides back together and grab our food. Although I've uh, have I even seen any food drops? There's a carrot. I haven't seen the other food drop, so we're missing we're missing a food drop somewhere in the level. And I definitely didn't see it, so let's um let's at least grab the carrot and then move on. Oh my god. <laughs> Armnox says I'd rather use the option and save some time. It's just using visibility option. Nothing to be ashamed of! 
I could not use it, search the entire map after clearing, clearing the malaise, but that's not fun for me. Yeah, like, in theory, you could always just, um, search the whole level when you're done with the level, and then use that to try to, to find all the secrets that you might miss, and, and it does take forever. I mean, they're supposed to be secret for a reason. Right, I did uh, swap these around momentarily. I've done that before, especially in the like corrupted prison, because it's so likely you get a bonus rune room that I uh, I sometimes just kind of run around looking for it. because I really want to get those bonus scrolls. But for like, for the bonus scrolls, I think it's definitely worth taking a minute and looking, but. What do we got? Money shooter. Y you know, can, can we, can we grab a wish and make a money shooter? I think you could. I'm not going to, because we just had a money shooter run, but in theory, I think we could go grab Wish, come in here, and grab a legendary money shooter. We can grab one legendary just from the, the room. I'm gonna keep my daggers for the time being. Although I do think that the daggers are not quite as good as I think they are. I think we need to dump them at some point, but for now they're okay. Giant killer is good damage. We're gonna use that for bosses. Um, probably use the collector syringe for the watcher and see if we can't get away with a uh, an easy flawless. Uh, I think I will go ahead and grab disengagement right now. Gives me one hit that I can tank without dying, and let's go to the prison. What's the legendary money shooter? So we had it on. I think it was the last run. It fires piercing shots. What a strange music musical soundtrack. It fires piercing shots that cost 150 gold, but you get, interesting, you get 150 gold back per kill. So in theory, Money Shooter can be a net monetary positive for you, which is very interesting. I don't think we need the Sonic Carbine, but what I will do is this for the time being. I do hate these guys. It does take a few daggers to actually kill them. Got some money out of that. Again, this is a level where I possibly, probably, maybe would actually um, go back through this level at the very end to see if I uh, missed any, like, Free scrolls, but we gotta we gotta make progress on the level first, I think. Ding 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 ding. Okay. At the very least, we cleared our objective. Um, can't help but Notice, <laughs> getting a little chaotic. <laughs> That's Dead Cells, baby! Excuse me, coming through. You like, just gotta wait for the, uh... oh God, there's two of them. Coming an elite? No, thank you. I just gotta wait for the the daggers to actually kill the enemies. <laughs> it takes a little time, though. Oh my lord. Um. Well, this bird won't get stunned, so I think we just open the door and start throwing. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. X4 knife fell off pretty fast. Well, the thing is, is that the knives don't really do that much damage on their own. So, you know. 
throwing one knife does 600, maybe 600, 800 damage. That's still not that good. Quad damage. And actually, I still don't know if the knife, if quad damage actually affects the bleed. I assume it does, but if it doesn't, then that would certainly explain why, uh, you know, the damage is falling off pretty easily here, or pretty uh, majorly. That being said, they are still like two-shotting most enemies, even if it takes a minute. Okay, I know. There's disengagement. Um, I mean, what was I supposed to do? I was kind of caught in a between a rock and a hard place. And you know what I could do? Gotta go kill this guy. Where is he? Hello. Go ahead, come here. Come on. I saw the food. Just can't really get it right now. I died. <laughs> you want to resurrect from your last save? No. Well, yes, but also no. Oh, you know, I have a... I turned the sys mode on. I was going to practice a um, <laughs> boss fight. I practiced the Dracula fight a little bit, um, and then I forgot to turn assist mode on, and then I lost my save slot because I loaded the wrong save slot. So let's turn assist mode off. There you go. That's how it works, though. If you have it on, you just get the ability to load from the uh, from the uh, the level, I believe. Word power, welcome. Um, okay. Let's not do quad damage throwing knives as good as those were. The damage really did kind of fall out, and I was just, I ended up just kind of hoping for the uh, spin to win to save me, but it's kind of hard to dodge with it a little bit. Um, it's interesting that it did fall off as quickly as it did. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at it like, okay, nerves? Does checkpoint work on boss rush? I don't know, but I assume it would. <clears throat> Excuse me, I assume it would. At least the shopkeepers don't get all pissy in this game if you start shooting. Very true. There's also a pretty nice survival run here with the uh, the death scythe that creates ghosts. We get a shield. We get a root grenade. Yeah, you can probably roll that for a while. Maybe try to roll a... Um, a bit of a classic-esque survival run. Do I have to remember how to actually use the um, the scythe effectively? Because it, it has interesting combos. Thank you. Like the first. Okay. <laughs> The first couple of hits from the, well, the first hit from it is slow. The follow-up hit is really um, fast. But it's just so much fun to just go on, go to town. You get so many like cool looking ghosts that just teleport around and kill everything for you. It's so chaotic. but it's surprisingly great and fun. I'm probably gonna go back to the toxic sewers, by the way. We didn't have uh... We had a bit of a situation where my own greed caused the loss, because I just didn't want to heal that early into the run, but probably should have just healed. You can always buy health later on. Oh, let's just walk it. 
Connie says, I wish there was a Hotline Miami roguelite. Isn't that just Hotline Miami? Says it wouldn't work because the level design in those games. Ah. Well, you know what? I've added them. I've added Hotline Miami to my Steam wish uh, shopping cart. <laughs> if I end up buying those games, maybe I'll play them. I'm always um, scared by the teleporting ghosts because they make like a teleport sound effect that I'm not used to. And then they just appear in front of me and I'm like, oh crap, it's a ghost. Okay, that was pretty good. You know what we do have? A root grenade. In theory, we could take the uh, the baseball bat if it shows up. I mean, I'm I'm in the mood to take anything that the game wants to give me at this point. Scythe gets you too many friendly ghosts. I have had the legendary scythe once, and it was beautiful. No, I'm not taking scythe claw. I end up I end up regretting it almost immediately because you can't hold a a secondary weapon with it, and it's just way too. Uh, Way too difficult to, uh, to work with. I just find myself. Oh, there it is. I just find myself dying whenever I take the scythe claw. Uh, we don't need the food. We'll recycle it. We should take astronomy. How does that scale? You get more damage bonus as you recycle food or something. Who knows? Give me more survival. Lots of HP, ghost damage, random skills. I don't know what I would take. I don't know what I would want. I mean, the wolf trap is pretty good. And it generates a cloud around the trap which will kill things on its own. Barricade, e.g. the deck of cards. Pretty decent, especially if you're you trying to flawless, but we don't need that right now. I think I'm gonna take the wolf trap, do a quick inversion. Full on survival gear already, quite nice. And we have a. Uh... couple of rooting options. Doesn't make me want to go to the nest, having survival. Because I'm thinking about the Watcher, like we're gonna have to get up close to hit the Watcher. Our ghosts, I mean, we're not gonna have ghosts. Maybe we can get tentacle ghosts. I don't know. Um, screw it, we're gonna go to the sewers. I haven't done it in a while. Well, except for run that shall not be named. Uh, must be missing food somewhere in the level, but I don't really care too much. The baseball, baseball bat build broadens with the wolf trap. I would, I would take a baseball bat. Ranakel says, had my first explosive crossbow run. First time I reached Dracula's final form, but man, that form's got hell for days. Yes, it does. I'm glad to hear that you um, had a good run with the explosive crossbow. Best weapon in the game. Hello. We don't need to reforge anything. We don't have uh, anything worth reforging. Uh, I think we'll just go disengagement just to keep myself alive. We're gonna want disengagement anyways, whether we take that or no mercy. I mean, I took no, no mercy first last time because we were rolling quad damage knives. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how effective the death scythe is. I'm just, I'm just kind of using it, you know. I will say, oh, 50 food. I really like the. Um, don't worry, I see it. I really like the attacks out of the death scythe because they. Um, have an AOE around you, like they hit above you 
on some of the uh, swings. Like the second swing in the series hits above your head. And the same thing with the fourth swing, I think. Okay, I mean, thank you, ghosts. Excuse me, where am I going? Did he turn invisible and fall? There's an elite somewhere. It's like, I know he's here. Uh, yes, please give me an extra point in survival, please. Yeah, to like kill the flying enemies with the second or fourth attack from the combo is really nice. It's a surprisingly, like, fast clearing weapon, too. Oh. Like, it, it kills things rather quickly. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna have to do some backtracking here because I am just not paying any attention at all to the floor, to secrets. I am just, I'm, I'm running. Ancient sewers, we already found the exit, oh my lord. Goodbye, my ghost friend. You will not kill anyone today, I don't think. What am I looking for on this run? With survival. You know me, but I probably won't go crossbow. I like starting with a crossbow and then kind of going full on uh, ranged from there. What I would love to find. is a tombstone. But you didn't even need me to tell you that, did you? Oh, hold on. Police Bull says, you ever see about going back to Cyberpunk now with the upgrade to your PC? Honestly, I'd never even thought about it. That's how, that's how, you know, much I've been thinking about Cyberpunk, but that's a very good idea. Last time I tried to play Cyberpunk, um, I think it ran at about like five FPS and uh, like the beginning of the game just didn't load properly. You look in, like you, you start the game looking in a mirror. Oh, that scared me. And then, in my game, I was just looking at UI elements that were being drawn in the mirror. <laughs> like, in, my hotbar was just being drawn in the mirror and it just looked very strange. It was not a very, uh, you know, It was not a very immersive experience, let's say. Um, we're gonna be doing some re-rolling. We're looking for like specific items. Yeah, okay. Uh, here's the thing, I have a baseball bat build. Here's the thing, Death Scythe is incredible and it's been insanely great for us. But wouldn't we like to hold on to a baseball bat? Of course, this explosive crossbow. Throw him, throwing objects is also really fun, but we don't have the money for it. What? I guess I didn't hit you with the first, uh, first hit from that, huh? It's a little too far out of the way of you. Goodbye. I, um... Excuse me, I'm on through. I will continue to use, I think, the, uh, the scythe for the time being. Just because it is very good right now. And it's getting us through the floors, and we like the ghosts. but I will probably 
within a floor or two, swap to the baseball bat, just because it is doing way more damage than the claws, or, or than the, the Death Scythe is doing. Death Scythe is good because we're getting a lot of good AoE out of it. Baseball bat's what we're gonna wanna use for the future. Unless, like, we can also just build different weapon loadouts for different situations, like, if we're fighting the Watcher, what would we rather have? Probably the baseball bat. The Watcher does get rooted, albeit only temporarily, but we'd prefer to have the baseball bat for that, and then for uh, floors, tombstone or uh, or death site. As long as the second attack from this kills the birds, I don't want to get rid of it. Now, is that my only uh, requisite for using this weapon? No, but it's a big one. The birds can be very annoying enemies to deal with on this floor, so... Killing them with a one-two combo... is very good. Very good. Ramparts. Goodbye, Ramparts. Um... We might as well pick up the weapon, because it is free. I mean, look at our malaise level. We're doing the whole floor. We, uh, we sped run through this floor. It's fantastic. We done? <laughs> that happened so fast. I honestly thought that we weren't done yet, but nope. You jerk. Um, there's a little food we can grab, but there's a 50 food that has no malaise on it that we we should go pick up. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm also very tempted to just walk through the whole floor again. Which is not a very exciting thing, but I'm tempted to do it just to look for uh, runes that I missed out on last time because I just ran through the level so quickly. I'm not gonna do that, but uh, a part of me is tempted to do that. And maybe this is a good reason or good indication that I would be okay with making secrets a little bit more visible because then I wouldn't be tempted to just run through the level. Uh, this is what I was looking for. Just to find, like, the secret runes or anything like that, it'd be a little bit more prominent. You know what? I'm, I'm curious to see what it looks like, so I'm gonna try it. Some um, this. Add an outline. Oh my god, it's like bright red. And we'll, we'll play around with this just for a little bit, just to, to appease the people who have been asking for it, and then, you know, I'll probably think that it's too easy and then turn it off later, but that's okay. <laughs> At least we'll get the, uh, the knowledge here. What am I looking for? Oh, these enemies. I wanted to kill all the enemies. And that's entirely greed. I, I need the money. I need the money, honey. So that is uh, an outline for a... Uh, bit of the level that you can drop through, but not actually a secret. I guess in-game it just counts as a secret, though. Interesting. Okay. That's neat, says Renekel. It is neat, um, you know, they've, they've done a very good job of adding in uh, little accessibility options over time, and so that's a, that's a nice one. You, you, can, you can give an outline to projectiles, to enemies, you could have the entire game just, you know, big unnecessary red circles like you see in meme images on the internet. Oh, thanks for that red circle. I wouldn't have been able to notice what was happening otherwise. All right, let's go to the prison. I believe we are done here. Last call, last call. We have a baseball bat. We've got a lot of rooting. This seems like it might be an okay floor to start pulling those out. Because we need to be very, very, uh, careful on this upcoming floor. Ba -da -da -da. Melee attacking inflicts 50% extra damage for 6 seconds after a successful parry. Thunder Shield does electrical damage around you. Probably not going to use too much shields, but... Sure, I'll take an electric shield, why not? Right, 
Anakel says, the attitude of just doing a round of asking the community, any features you want? And then just doing it is pretty effective. I mean, it's very nice of the developers, of course. For accessibility reasons. And just to uh, make the game a little bit easier to, to play. What would this... What, would this go to a bank corrupted prison? <laughs> so there would be like one scroll. It, it would make the level so long, but it is very, very tempting to go to the bank in the corrupted prison level, which will just give us, I, I think it'll just give us one scroll from a cursed chest and then that's it, which is kind of hilarious. Also, why is the, the world map completely blank? <laughs> There's nothing here. Um, I just, I'm gonna go to the corrupted prison, thank you. Although it would have been nice to have access to another big shop. Dun, 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 let's see what we get. A nail. That is not interesting at all. Lady Aranine, welcome. How you doing? how you didn't get uh, hit by that root trap. Give it a second. We had time. There's a secret! Ah, uh, but it only, it only lights up when you get close to it. Very interesting. Also interesting. You can't get close enough to me. Also interesting that uh, the secret that the enemy um, can teleport out of the root. Now the birds, they don't get stunned, but they get rooted just fine. Anytime I can get these enemies. Gotta be careful about that though. Anytime I can get these enemies to, to chase me down here, I'm happy. Hello. Yo, he's, he's taking damage from the root trap even though he's in the shield. That's interesting. That's quite interesting, indeed. I guess if I just hit the enemies hard enough, they don't get, uh... They don't even get it within themselves that they can, uh... They can move out of the root at all. They're just like, yep, this is my life now. Donk, 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 donk. I really hope they never nerf the baseball bats. Look at the freaking biter army I've got, too. Just go to town. <laughs> That's the whole point of the weapon. The whole point of this weapon is just go to town. I uh, do not like where I am right now. Start there. Then get you. The one, uh, the one negative about this is that the root traps, they do have a long recharge on them, don't they? The rat has a scroll. No, the rat had a legendary machete and pistol, which I think is terrible. So probably not gonna take it, although I probably should, because it is legendary, but... It is a secret there, by the way. Should not have rolled, should, should have just attacked. Also, there's a secret. Get out of here. Get out of here! Just adds a bleed that's boring. 
Well, the thing is, is that if it adds a bleed, you can still make it synergize with itself to give it guaranteed, like, extra bonus damage, but... Yeah, it's not, not the best thing in the world. But also, I just, I really don't like the moveset of the Machete and Pistol. I think it's a little slow. And uh, when you, like, between the sword attacks and the gun attack, you actually have, like, a difference in delay as well. So I find myself, when I'm using that weapon, I, uh... I'm coming for you, don't worry. I find myself, when I'm using that weapon, I try to cancel one of my attacks to dodge roll, and then it never happens. So I just get hit. So, not the, I'm not the hugest fan of that one. How do I get to, to that bird? I gotta go all the way down here? I wanna kill the bird! Dun 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 dun! I don't know how, I don't know how I feel about the music yet, honestly. At some point, there's 60 kills. At some point, I might want to, uh, swap back to the original soundtrack, but I'll at least try 8-bit as well. We'll have a little bit of an ABC test here. All right. So, check the amulet. Nah. Don't need the food. We didn't take a hit. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Random skills. I don't know why I selected Brutality. I guess I still thought we were on that Brutality run from a minute ago. My bad. Sorry about that. It's not like I really wanted the replacement skills, because my skills are freaking fantastic. I'll grab the Machete and Pistol, but we're probably not going to use it. And by the way, I am looking for the, uh, the bonus level, if it's here. And I'm doing it because I don't know if it'll actually get shown by the accessibility options. Maybe that's such a secret that it's even more secret than, you know, floor runes, and it doesn't want to show up. I imagine it would, because it does work with the amulet, but... Alright, Frost Blast, Crush Trap, Hemorrhage... I don't think we want any of this. Ancient Sewers. I mean, that is where we're going, right? That or the Ramparts? Yeah, we'll go Ancient, ancient Sewers. Stilt Village Castlevania track is dope, says Arm Knock. I guess um, there are individual soundtracks for every level, right? So, spoilers, I'm probably not going to go to the uh, Stilt Village, but maybe. You deal plus 17% damage if you recycle food. I don't know about that. It seems a little, a little early. I mean, I want to look at the, uh, the machete. Man, it's like... A thousand damage or 1300 crits. Baseball bat already does more damage on a non-crit and does triple the damage, basically, on a crit. So, like, I, I can't see the machete pistol being useful for, like, anything. I might just go armadillo pack and then try to like stack up some uh, some shields so I can have maybe like a parry shield in my backpack that'll enable uh, an armadillo pack which can maybe block some hits and and whatnot. Melee kills reduce the damage you take. Attack following a parry. Health flask restores more health and the effect, effect is spread out while healing you do more damage. Enemies suffer damage when slowed. Attacking a frozen, stunned, or rooted enemy at close range reduces skill cooldowns by 1.3 seconds. You know what? Let's go for that one. An empty tome plays around fractured shrines. I mean, this is my first time playing with the soundtrack, so I don't know any of the music. I'm learning as I go here. Mm. 
kind of like the beat of this one right now. Alright, anything to kill? You need lots of stuff to kill. Including an elite. You know, let's go for that elite. Well, that worked. <laughs> um, I'd rather not lose points in survival right now, because the survival is doing everything I needed to do and more. And in theory... I can't quite tell if we're getting uh, bonus reductions in skill cooldowns if we hit the enemy multiple times quickly, because the enemies are just dying too fast. <laughs> No. There's a short delay on when these skills can activate, so we'd have to hit an enemy multiple times to get multiple activations of the ability, but even just getting like an occasional activation is pretty good. I don't know how to get in there, but let's not worry about it, because we got we got places to be, you know. Come here. Is another tentacle? You know, tentacles will get caught by the rooting. A lot of things are gonna get caught by the rooting. The boss can get caught by the rooting, so I don't think this is particularly a, a bad synergy. I think it will it will work rather well. <laughs> yeah, it works pretty well, doesn't it? By the way, your malaise level's increased, and then it's gone down. See in a second. <laughs> uh, I mean, The more things change, the more they stay the same. The real question is, should we use it or should we get rid of it? We could use it again. We can build our whole run around this weapon. And we can try, 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 oh try, oh baby, we can try to get to Dracula. And flawless him. Similar to, similarly to what we did last time. We didn't flawless him last time, but we had a very good fight against him. Clink. You can, you can understand the negative of this though, which is that we're not using our, uh, our baseball bat synergy anymore. Of course, the, uh, the question is, do we even need to use the baseball bats anymore? I mean, it's it's giving us money using this now. <laughs> Solder J, welcome. Thank you for the resub. Abe Danger Clancy, how's it going? I have been having such a fun time recently replaying Dead Cells. This game is so good. Get out of here. Oops. Anyone who has not played Dead Cells should really play Dead Cells. This game gets so many updates. It's in the best uh, state now than it's ever been in. It's a blast. Great music. We got a we gotta move. I am stuck in a hole. I really gotta get to that mushroom. Oh. Hold on. Gotcha. I haven't noticed too many in the way of uh, secret runes on the floors. Hoping we're, we're still getting those shown.
but I also need more of that downfall goodness as Solder J. Any chance of that later on in the stream? I mean, I'm going to play a run of Dead Cells, and then I'll set up a poll. That's my plan, anyways. Always like trying to be fair. <laughs> 69 kills. <laughs> we have to make it to the door now. Random weapons. What do we what do we want? I don't know what we would want. What do we want? What do we want out of this? I mean, I do see the death scythe, which is pretty good, but the baseball bat is still great. And we're also still using the money shooter. Now there's a tombstone. Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't think we need it, though. If I'm not here, can I cast a vote now? <laughs> if you cast a vote now, Sauter J, you have to not ca cast a vote later. Disposable account welcome. And Ciro, hello. I'm too old. I prefer slow strategy games. Oh, come on. You're not too old for dead cells? No one's too old for dead cells. It's the perfect game. I haven't, oh, there was a good one. I was gonna say, I haven't found any uh, secret things in a while. There's one right there. I would have found that one on my own, though. At least I would uh, like to believe that. Still haven't found a secret scroll level, though. <sighs> really, I was just trying to, to crawl down quickly because this, this is just uh, the world of grenade bats and spikes, apparently. Can we have fewer grenade bats and, and spikes, please? I mean, I gotta kill them before they kill me. Oh my god, okay, where are you? Where are you? Thank you. I hate you. You're bad and you should feel bad. What is that red outline? I'm uh, playing around with some of the uh, options in the game. This is a help me find secrets option, accessibility option. Sometimes I am blind, but I'm curious about it. People keep telling me about it, and it's like, yes, I know, I know, I know, yes, I know, I know, I know, I just don't want to turn it on. Yes, I know, fine, I'll turn it on. And so I'm going to turn it on. We're going to see how good it is. Really, um, the only thing I'm interested in is will this find the icons that give you secret levels? And if it does, you know, then I'll consider it. But we're exploring for now. We're testing it out. We're seeing what works. I feel like I just prefer this to electricity. It does. I haven't actually uh, seen one yet. I, I believe that it probably would because the amulet works, but again, haven't seen it work yet. That Cells is a slow strategy game. Uh, not on BC5, unfortunately. Random skills. Uh, I like my skills. I would I would upgrade the the wolf trap probably. This one doesn't create a toxic cloud, however. So maybe we'll save our money. Oh, we have so much money. <laughs> upgrade the wolf trap. We've got so much cash. We can just reroll the effect of the uh, wolf trap later. up. Then I um, think I didn't explore this area fully. Looks like there's uh, a couple of enemies over here. Okay. Just wanted to check. Didn't get much out of it, though. <laughs> By the way, your melee's deer's increased. Well, this time I ate the food, so I, of course I know. 
Um, we've done this, we've done this, we've done this, we've done the shop. Uh, I will grab this croissant. Actually, that means that there was... Oh, right, that, that other food was spawned at the beginning of the level. That makes sense. Okay. We're done. This channel and chat is going to ruin my life, says Gord Power. Because of it, I have picked up Factorio again, so if I start failing my classes, I blame you. You should try it with... You should try it with a, um... Like... Space Exploration mod or something, just so you can, uh... Play a billion hours of Factorio as opposed to a hundred hours of Factorio. We're gonna kill the tentacles in one hit. No, you know what, tentacles... Um, how the damage cap works is that the boss has a 15% cap. The tentacles, I believe, have a 50% cap, so it could take up to three hits if they end up having like one HP after a smack, so. Less damage on rooted enemies, that is pretty funny. Can we get that with the baseball bat? Probably, but we don't need to worry about re-rolling that quite now, quite yet, do we? All right, let's do it. So how, how, how does this work? We're gonna root, smack, 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 smack. Which does about the same DPS as the money shooter and doesn't cost us money. Tentacles, we're gonna root and then whip. Or, and by whip, I mean do one of those. Okay. There are space exploration factorial mods. Oh no, my times is run Yeah, they add in like 15, there's 15 science packs. Uh, the like modules go up to like level nine. <laughs> you have to build a spaceship. They get kind of ridiculous after a while. Hello. Hey, come here. Well, didn't quite work on the follow-up hit. Okay. Okay! I just, I hit the wrong button. I, I hit the baseball bat instead of the swing. Excuse me? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I mean, we, we we took one hit from the tentacle because I just like, I just misclicked the buttons. Uh, and then we killed the Watcher before the, they even did their like final phase transition, I think. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I just clonked him out of his entire phase. Because the Watcher is surprisingly vulnerable to rooting. The root lasts like the whole duration, which is very funny to me. So let's go um, Sanctuary Sepulchre Clock Room, because that's the direction we need to go in anyways. Uh, what's the alternative? Where are we? We're in um, Crypt. We could go Graveyard Sepulchre, but let's go here. I always... <laughs> I have a tendency to get hit once on, like, that phase, annoyingly enough. Why is your map broken? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. It's just, I don't know. Just, it is. It is what it is right now. Have we gotten back to the Astrolab yet? I have done Spoiler Boss. I think I, I I only did it once, and I died when I tried it, unfortunately. What's with the church music? This is the alt music. Castlevania-esque uh, music DLC. I gotta remember, um, 
How we fight bosses and how we fight enemies is completely different from one another. How we fight enemies is I, I hit Y. <laughs> how we fight bosses is uh, I hit LT and then hit X a whole bunch. I really like having my stats, please. It is possibly a little cheesy rolling what is basically the same build. Oh, that's a, a terrible hit to take. That's a terrible hit to take, but um, you kind of teleported in front of me on that one. No, that's, that's not him, it's me. I tried to dodge the uh, the crystal, got hit by the projectile instead. Word Power says, also, Dead Cells looks pretty cool these days. I haven't really looked into it much since the early beta. Watched NL play it, thought it might be fun once it's finished, forgot about it, maybe I should pick it up. Um, Dead Cells is way better than it ever was in early access. The game is ne has never been in a better state, and it is an incredible amount of fun, and I cannot recommend it enough to anyone. One of the, like, just best roguelites ever. And it's um, it's a funny game to uh, to have watched the development of because the game just got better over time. Every version of this game is what was just better than the last one. And you can still play the old versions of Dead Cells. You can just go on to Steam and then just download old versions of it. If you're ever curious to see how the game uh, developed over time. Um, I feel like I need to move. Wonder why nothing tried to chase me down. <laughs> da -da 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 By the way, your malaise tears increased. Da -da 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 -da. This, doesn't, this doesn't sound like Castlevania. <laughs> I think, actually, the chest is probably right up here. Did this outfit change the way you run if you're on low health? No, this is what you always do. You always kind of hold in your guts. That's a normal thing. Not interested. This music is from a Castlevania game before Symph Symphony of the Night, which is where Makiru Yamain started working on it. Well, okay then. Enemies. Enemies, yes, there will be enemies. Which I guess is kind of what I want. I mean, that is working. I don't really want to fight these enemies, though. Can you blame me? Okay, <laughs> I will... I'll hit the button twice and waste 150 if I think I need to. <laughs> can be a bit of a annoying zone. Oh my God. I think I got him. <laughs> oh! Hold on. He's dying to biters. Curse lifted, let's go. 
Thank God the curse was lifted. By the way, it does outline the secret level rooms. I did see it though, because I landed right on top of it, and then uh, my dude smacked me in the face. <laughs> This does feel like a pretty good opportunity to maybe uh, heal. Is there any food? No. Okay, you know what? Heal up. It's our first heal. Gives us an opportunity to do the trap room and recover disengagement. I'm gonna be honest though, I did not anticipate the um, golem doing the ground attack immediately. I thought he would always rush first, but I guess that's not the case. Maybe if you're too far away from him, he'll open up with the, um, the ground attack that he did. I would not be surprised if uh, it is a distance thing. Codename Welcome, sup. How, uh, well, sup for me is I'm playing some Dead Cells, which I'm very happy about. Sup for you. I'm having a good day. We're working on Dracula today. I would love to try to flawless him. That's sup with me. Do you guys think there's an easier color to beat BC2 with? You mean easier color? I feel like it's less about the color and more about the uh, specific weapons in the color, but like the easiest color to win with is, you know, probably green because you got so much health, right? Like, surely it's green, not a golem. Elite Lacerator. I wish you could tell when it was going to be an elite frozen versus anything else. It does require two of these shots in order to uh, kill the golems, which is very scary. I think, um, Last time, was I in this level last time when I had the uh, the money shooter? I don't think I was, but I think I was killing uh, big enemies in one hit just because of the fact that I had um, a little bit more damage since it was like a legendary money shooter too. Maybe it was a higher level. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We got more stuff to do. Go here. Disposable, disposable account says it's the color called Get Good. Hold on. Make sure he goes. You no longer hold your gut while running, it's your health that does it. Yep. It's a nice little just visual kind of effect slash reminder that, hey, by the way, you've got low health. This game's got a great feel to it with things like that. It has, specifically, there's a, there's a walk animation, there's a run animation, and then there's a running while holding your guts in animation. Codename says, I almost beat BC2 with tactics. I'm getting there. You wanna, you wanna know my recommendation for easy mode? Easy mode is go survival with the explosive crossbow and you'll win. Now that is my interpretation, but that is what I would recommend. More enemies, huh? Dun, dun, dun. Did you 
it's just so nice because you get both a ranged attack and you get a, uh, a melee attack in one weapon. Connie says, go anything legendary scythe and you'll win. Death scythe? My, my problem with death scythe is that it's not gonna do anything on boss fights, you know? You're still gonna need something else. That cleared the malaise? I must have missed so many. Oh, I did miss so many enemies over here. Codename says, do you guys play regular or custom mode while trying to beat boss cells? I just played regular personally, but I like the idea of going for um, a custom mode where you can be like, okay, I want all the good stuff that I want to see on a run. You can just kind of build your own run. There's a few more enemies. Harmnox says, I just play on custom mode for the random outfit options. I, I also do that at times. If you ever see me playing custom mode, it's probably random outfits. Donk. Um, we're done. Random weapons. I mean, I'll see what they have, of course. You got the money for it. Explosive crossbow is so good. If you get an explosive crossbow with the ammo upgrade, you will literally never run out of ammo. It recharges its ammo faster than you can use it, so you'll never have to worry about taking an ammo mutation with it. Even at four ammo, it almost recharges faster than you can shoot it. If you're dodging two, you won't run out of ammo, so. Even though it only has four ammo, don't let that fool you. I'm just double checking. Sepulcher clock room. Regular all the all the way, I'll mess around with custom when I'm higher up in the boss cell count and more consistent. We just exactly got to 60, but I think we were already at 60, so we got to 60 twice. Um What's interesting about custom mode is that you have to have like 20 items unlocked in custom mode in order to still get achievements and progression. But what you can do is if there's one item that you really like, like let's say you really like uh, the baseball bat, all of your other weapons could be brutality focused or tactics focused so that when you come across a shop, you can say, give me survival weapons, and the only weapon available is a baseball bat, which I think is very funny that you can cheese the system like that. Wow, it does a lot of damage. Like gold shield. You wanna know what I want, really want to do? I wanna practice the clock boss, parries only, because I think that's gonna be a boss that if you can get good at parrying to kill it, kill her, then um, I mean you'll never, you'll never lose. And you'll get the flawlesses every time. I really think that if you can parry her to death, you would, uh, you'd be fine. Even on the enhanced difficulty version of the boss that you get later on in Boss Rush. All right, so there's the curse chest immediately, which is totally fine. I like the music in this place. Uh, we're just gonna do platforming challenges first until we find some enemies. So like, if you really wanted an explosive crossbow, go survival, make everything else like brutality melee weapons, and then you're pretty much guaranteed to get the explosive crossbow on your run. Makes it very good also to grab Wish, because you can get a legendary one. Although I think the legendary explosive crossbow is piercing, which is good, but like not that not not that critical. This is not the direction we're supposed to be going in. 
Can't believe you... Oh! Light. Can't believe you freaking blocked that attack. This weapon is just so broken, I love it. Are there enemies in here? Bonic Lettuce says, watch or run. Crescendo, Consecrate, or Prostrate. Probably Crescendo. Or Consecrate, but probably Crescendo. Another way of entering Wrath. Got him. Extra jump in midair. Damage from projectiles reduce 75%. Yeah. Seems okay. I want to get a, uh, I want to get the cursed chest because we are killing it from the perspective of having enemies to kill. I don't have the option to choose the color at the shop says code name. Don't know how you unlock it. Must be a higher BC thing. Yeah, it's um, it's an option in the menu. You can either pick melee, ranged, or shields, or brutality. Tactics and survival, and that's a that's an options menu thing. Somewhere in the options, I forget where it is. I mean, it's a better wolf trap. Actually, it's not a better wolf trap. Um, I suppose it doesn't really matter which one we take then. I like the music here. Da, da, da. Very relaxing. <laughs> I see invisible enemies. Plenty of things to kill, though. I do see that there is a, a bonus level there. I wonder why this guy didn't come after me. Probably because he was killing a biter. Here's the, I would have picked it up anyways because I was just pre spamming uh, use on the... Uh, on the money. There's another one. I kind of like that it does allow me to spend less time worrying about washing the ground. <laughs> this is a good choice to fit in with the spooky atmosphere. It is, it's not really spooky music, but it is relaxing in a, uh, I guess maybe you, you, it could be like in a creepy way. It's good though. I don't know if you see me or not. not seen in a while, double curse chest. Okay. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, relax, we're okay. I don't know if there's a food shop here, but I would love it if there was one right now. So why did that go so poorly? Um, it went poorly because my shots kept aiming above the enemy's head because there were tall enemies. And then my shots were also stopped by the enemy that is the weirded warrior. So he was actually just deflecting my shots. So in two ways, I was kind of getting screwed over on that encounter. But, you know, I could have just used my active abilities and been totally fine. But that's okay. You know, we still have health. We still have disengagement. There's food on the level, we can pick it up later. We're okay. 
And in theory, there's gonna be more food because it should just light up like a, you know, big red outline. Thousand H. Whoops. Twelve thousand HP. That's fine for now. I don't really know how much I would like to have for the clock cost. Probably, you know, as much as possible. But you know, if I'm rolling like a tactics run, this is actually more HP than I would have at the end of a tactics run. So I feel fine on HP right now on a survival run. Some tactics runs I have like. What is going on? Some tactics runs I might have like. Uh... Well, it's cleared. Excuse me. Uh, Seven thousand or so HP going into the Dracula fight. Codename says it looks like I need to get some secret blueprint in the graveyard to unlock the merchandising upgrade. There's a lot of hidden blueprints in this game, so I'm not surprised that you still have more to do. If you're if you're only on BC2, I mean some of the up, some of the blueprints are literally BC5 only. And by some I mean at least one. Stop blocking my attacks, you jerk. That's food, yeah. La, la, la. There's gonna be another exit. This is not exactly how I meant to handle this because I just wanted to go to the uh, temple order. I knew that dang weirded warrior. Would block my hits again. <laughs> so I threw a second one in and he blocked that one too. I hate those guys. Random skills. Um, what kind of skills would we like to have for the fight? Uh, I hate to say it, but I think we just want to baseball bat the boss to death. Which again, makes me kind of wish that I was a little bit better at parrying, but... We can just baseball bat the boss to death. The music, it's so magical here. <laughs> Ice armor, foresight. I mean, yeah. If you're really trying to get flawlesses, that's what you want. I really don't want to do this. Oh, you know what? There's a light. See, I was smart. I left a light behind. Uh, wow, triple brutality. Um, there's something here. To, oh, we have 74. Thousand gold. I don't need to sell that syringe. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Seventy-four thousand gold. Yeah, I hate the weirded warriors. Their uh, ranged block is so annoying. You guys see that? I mean, I need to get the light again. Should we go for? Yeah, I think I think we want to go for a uh, barricade. It'll start charged, which means we can block one hit. Forgot the rift. Oh, I did forget the rift. And there's food next to the rift. I, I apparently just missed that section of the map when I was doing my uh, my review. I guess it's a very like oddly wide map this this time around, huh? 
I should have I should have seen it when I went back for the food, honestly. What do we got? Damage from projectiles, blah. So we want to go up there. Music is still playing. I wonder what music we're going to get for Clock Boss. Right. Go, uh, let's go up. Then we'll go. Yeah, we're done. I guess when I, uh, when you go from the teleport to this side to the teleport to this side, it just kind of like scrolls the map too fast. I, I just didn't think about it. Notice the, the middle of the area with the food in it. All right, clock room. I think with the baseball bat, the uh, wolf trap, and our card, I think we'll be fine. And we get ice armor. Well, what would you rather have? Ice armor or a fully charged foresight? Probably a fully charged foresight because it'll just work once. But that is a very, uh, I mean, we could, we could also get the ice armor, which would, we could make legendary. Here's the problem, I wouldn't have any method of rooting you. So, I'm going to just say no. Plus damage to a poisoned target. That'll happen with the wolf, uh, it won't happen with the wolf trap. We should reroll. Stunned. Poisoned? We could also reroll the wolf trap to try to make it poison. Generates a toxic cloud, thank you. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Clonk 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 What's his back to lurk? You should uh lurk this I don't know. We're gonna try to flawless the boss here. I hope we can do it. So we gotta dodge. Okay. I mean, that's good. And I've got another wolf trap built up already. I got hit by! the sword, which counts as a trap, and the car didn't block it. <laughs> the car doesn't block traps. That was so good. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even, I, I, I completely forgot about the swords. But like, the fight itself was beautiful. Ice armor would never let you down. Never gonna let you down. Oh, I'm so sad. The boss didn't hit me. The card would have worked if the boss had hit me, but I dodged the boss's attack and got hit by a falling sword, which I wasn't paying attention to. <laughs> that's fine. That's, that's more than okay. That's good practice. Just goes to show you that the route that we're taking is actually very good for a root build. This bo that boss got nastily countered by the root. The watcher got nastily countered by the root. Dun, dun, dun. 
Code name says, I don't think I've ever entered that room, Sedge. <laughs> oh, you're not missing out on too much. It's probably gonna be a legendary taunt again. Welcome, Quirk. How you doing today? No. What an unbelievably lovely and broken piece of equipment. Elite demon. Oh my god. He was an elite invisible demon. Dracula, you fool. You should have tried harder, Dracula. Look, we're gonna be doing a lot of backtracking here. No! Thank you. It's like the one that I can't handle because my brain is too puny. Oh, hold on. Did you, like, move through the freaking wolf trap? How, how does that work? How do you move through the wolf trap? That's, that's magical, that's wonderful. How? I just want to know. This is also the wrong location. The the curse chest is always in the same spot. It's right here. Get out of here, Dracula. Did he hit me? No, I still have my uh my charge. I got my card. I'm just gonna like go here and then run to the right and kill things. We go a little bit more slowly here. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Da -da -da -da. Gotcha. This is gonna be sad for you. Hi. <laughs> Three shots? I think last run we did it in two, but that's still pretty good. We might, I mean, we, de we definitely have a chance. I just hope that we can make it happen. I mean, we definitely have a chance. I do get money from that, which is weird. But is the bullying real? She has a very long ranged tail whip attack. The thing is, if you kill her in three hits, it doesn't matter. Food. You know, we have actually infinite money. So I'm gonna buy you out. Well, something happened. Like, actually infinite money. Still have 60,000 gold. This just doesn't happen. And in case you thought I forgot, clunk. <laughs> That's what you want though, right? You want it to be like second nature. You want to just like run into an enemy and conk them sometimes. Clunk. I 
I'm very curious to know what, where this music comes in. In, you know, the Castlevania series. It, it kind of does feel like a final level music. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Get out of here, Drac. Don't attack my biters. You've got a scroll. Thank you. Gotta show the power of the bats versus bats. I'm just gonna yeet my money at Dracula and say, you know what? Take this. Leave me alone. How much would it cost, Dracula, for you to F right off? How much would this cost me, Dracula? You'll never reach my throne. What did you do? I, I don't even know what Dracula did. He kind of just, like, pissed off. It's strange to me that the greed shield still does more damage. It's one of the earlier shields. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pay you 150 gold to F right on off. F right off, Drac. They call you Drac. Yeah, I call you Drac. No! At least you get money, but who cares about money? Wait a minute, I do. I'm freaking loaded. It's actually called, the song is actually called Beginning and it's a version of the very first level of Castlevania 3. That's interesting. to get a lot less scared about the enemies on this level too. Like for the most part, I know what's here. Dun, dun, dun. Excuse me, where'd you come from? Excuse me, <laughs> that's a terrible sound. You okay there? No, not a very good shield. Um, a few more things to do. If there's one more scroll fragment, other than the one that's just up ahead, we can get another level. Hemorrhage, Legogger, bye. Oh, this is totally fine. Um, you should not have gotten away from your crystal. That that was probably a very dumb move on your part. That crystal would have kept you alive. All right, one more. The dead end, though. It's weird how um, consistent these level designs are. Like, every single time you play this level, basically everything is, is in exactly the same spot. Like, Richter is always there, the Cursed Chest is always there. There's variability, of course, because sometimes the exit's on the left and sometimes the other area's on the right side here. Um, but where they are, are always exactly the same, top left, top right. Looks like we're also not going to get another scroll, unfortunately. Uh, if that's the case, let's get the heck out of here. Which is, yeah. Castlevania levels have a lot less variety and level generation almost feels the same every time, even the enemy placement. I mean, the thing is, 
I think I may have seen that cursed chest in a different location once. Every other time it's been in exactly that spot. It's super consistent. Which is very interesting. All right, well, I mean, we're here. Lower his cooldown? We don't really need lower cooldown, but what else do we need on our uh, mutation slot, you know? We can get a legendary. Recovery, <laughs> velocity, no mercy, on, disengagement, on. I could just buff my health as opposed to lower my cooldowns, because cooldowns aren't really going to matter that much on the upcoming fights. Could have stacked up some gastronomy bonuses on the last floor. I need to I need to re remind myself that this is something that I might want to consider. I, I used to do this before on the lighthouse fight. You stack up the bonuses, you fight a boss, you get double damage, basically. It is worth doing, I just need to do it. I need to do it. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to go for um, shield. Shield, disengage. No, let's see. 18,000 HP, 35 survival, and a pea shooter of massive proportion. I think we're good to go. Dracula fight's going to still be kind of annoying, but... It always is. Did you get the secret right before the Dracula boss room? Yes. Accidentally once and then on purpose another time. This sounds like an F-Zero soundtrack. Kind of. Exactly what I was thinking. Just uh, hang out at a distance and throw your money. My laser's cleared. Okay, um. We still have our card, which is the most important thing. Do we want Wolf Trap or Root Grenade? I don't think it's actually going to matter. It's level 12. But I think we'll take Root Grenade because we can actually hit the boss with this. Okay. Yeah, he does, he does hit the ground sometimes, but I don't know if he'll get hit by the root trap. He'll probably get hit by the grenade, but he might be immune to root, which means we just throw our money at him. So regardless, we're probably just gonna throw our money at him. At least here we have like an opportunity. Yeah, he cannot be rooted. The card, no, the card is still active. Card is not active and I got hit. We're gonna do a meteor attack here. The lasers, they're uh, they're hard for me to dodge personally. I gotta I gotta practice laser dodge. Okay. <laughs> Screw you, dead cells. Screw you. You goddamn bullshit. <laughs> Threw me off the level, threw me off the level again, and then threw me off a level for the third time. <laughs> you know, it was a fun run though. <laughs> at least, at least I can certainly phase one Dracula flawless as long as I have a ranged weapon. I'm, I'm getting a lot better at learning the timing of his attacks and knowing when I should be prepared to dodge because he only has two attacks where he can hit you in melee. Um, second phase, it's the lasers and that, the meteor. Because 
the meteors, when you're jumping, they can hit you from above, off the screen, when you can't see them, and then also, the timing is, uh, very precise in getting up there before the ground explodes on you. And then if you miss your jump, you fall off the level four times. Ronakel says, I was I was gonna say it's kind of BS how the laser starts hitting without warning like most other attacks, but that BS takes the cake. The thing is, the laser has a tell, it's just very slight. His face will glow for like a half second and then the laser comes out. And I, I think there might even be an exclamation mark, but it's hard to see. Um. <laughs> so the laser is tough and um, the climbing on the meteor attack is tough. What's weird about the laser attack is that he usually does three. He does a sweep, a sweep, and then a, a stationary beam. For some reason, the stationary beam doesn't seem to actually have a hitbox. If you're standing still, it doesn't hit you at all. I don't know how it works. Maybe, maybe there's some issue with the hitbox, or maybe I'm just like standing in the exact right spot. But that laser has like never hit me. But it's the sweeping lasers that hit you because it's like instantaneous directly at you and there is a tell it's just really hard to identify and I gotta just get better at identifying it and then the meteor attack is BS because you're climbing and the meteors hit you from above and if you don't make the platform correctly then you just get hit by the AOE which I don't know if you can dodge through I hope you can I gotta I was gonna take another save state but I forgot <laughs> oh no uh Wing of the Crow. That actually might be kind of interesting, yeah. Yeah. Wing of the Crow could be good to keep you from falling, but... Or just, you know, make the jumps, and then don't fall off the level three times. <laughs> Fun run! For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch if you want to go live, support the channel, any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dead Cells. <laughs>